All right, so if we have this demand and the supply equation, what we want to do is find the equilibrium price and quantity. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to plot an axis. Just a reminder that it's the opposite of what you think for supply and demand curves. Q goes there, P goes there. I look at this. When P equals zero, Q equals 400. And when P equals 200, Q will be zero. So I'm going to be getting that line. For the supply equation, I note that if P equals 80, Q will be zero. So if I put a line here at 80, there. I'm looking for where those two meet. And to do that, I'm going to take my equations and set them equal to each other. All right, so I'm going to assume you can do that algebra. When you do this, you come out with P equals 110 with corresponding quantity of 180. And in fact, I'm going to put asterisks on these to indicate that those are the equilibrium values. So that quantity is 180. Right there is 110. Okay. Let's change this and assume that we've got a tax on suppliers. That means we want to change the supply equation, and we want to account for the fact that suppliers are getting $4 less because it's going to a taxing agency. So that means our quantity is 6 times P, mi P minus 4. There we go. There's the tax, minus 480. Or if we rewrite that, that's 6P minus 500. We do the same thing. We set the two equations equal to each other. Demand, supply. Again, I'm going to assume you can do the solving here. What you come up with is P equals $113. Q equals 174 units. Now, you just think about this a little bit. Notice what's happening here. The price that um, consumers are paying is gone up by three dollars from 110 to 113. So the four dollar tax, consumers are paying three dollars of it, which means that the suppliers are paying one dollar of it. Part C works much the same way, except now the tax is on consumers. So it's going to change the demand equation. Prices are going to be 10 percent higher. So that new equation will be Q equals 400 minus two times 1.1, that accounts for the 10% raise in the price, or 400 minus 2.2p. Again, we're setting equations equal to each other. I'm going to use the same supply equation. We're not going to change that. We are only taxing consumers here. Again, I'm going to assume that you can go through the steps to find P. When I did this, I got a P of 107.32 and a Q of, well, did I find the Q? Ah, I forgot to find the Q. Okay, so ignore that. Let's think about that. So the price plus tax. So if I take this amount and add 10%, what I actually get up to is $118.05. The tax actually comes out to $10.73. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, remember, this is how much is being taxed. Of that tax, notice that the consumers were paying $110. They're paying $8.05 more. So of this tax, consumers are paying $8.05 and $2.68 and, um, are being passed along to the suppliers.